This was the first picture I ever took in Japan, and it was of a toilet at the airport. Who isn't mesmerized by the advanced toilet technology in Japan? And I'm not talking about these toilets that do still exist in many parts of Japan, but these, the kind with heated toilet seats, spraying functions, and sometimes even a music button to hide your bathroom noises. So flash forward four and a half years later and I found myself in Kita Kyushu, Japan, home to the free Toto Museum. Toto is the maker of the washlet toilet seat and is Japan's most popular and technologically advanced toilet brand. At the museum, they even have some extra special toilets like the toilet bike Neo. It's a real functioning motorcycle made using a real toilet seat for the seat. There's no filming allowed in the museum, so that's why this is all pictures. Wait until you see what the bathrooms at the museum are like. Not only are Toto's toilets impressive, but I would recommend coming here just to see the actual building of the Toto Museum. The museum is a spiritual experience. The rain was pouring outside, but the inside of the building was bright and spacious. Here's an exhibit about the plans for this museum's building. I really appreciate how much work went into making the building efficient and eco-friendly. It includes solar panels, high insulation architecture, solar chimneys, and even pavement made using scraps from the manufacturing process of their sanitary wear. The windows let a lot of natural light in, there's so much greenery, and of course the bathrooms are equipped with the latest water-saving sinks and toilets. At one point I looked out this window and saw the rainwater dripping so beautifully off of the round wall and into the drainage area. It was really interesting to learn about the history of toilets in Japan and the beginnings of the Toto Company. You can see the changes in Japanese people's lifestyles through the evolution in plumbing products, also including sinks, baths, and kitchens. Once upon a time, way before the Toto brand was created, people were using rivers as restrooms and cooking using fires. Then, later on, the plumbing products moved indoors and people were sharing toilets, wells, and bathhouses. The outhouse waste was being recycled and used for fertilizer. Private baths did exist, but they were for rich people. From 1912 to 1945, railroads expanded so more people lived in suburbs, and plumbing products began to change so ceramic sanitary ware became industrialized. Japan's first domestically produced seated flush toilet was made in 1914 and other white ceramic products were made like bathtubs and sinks. The idea of ceramic sanitary ware being white was also beginning to be deeply ingrained in society. When Toto started in 1917, it was called Toyotoki Company, meaning Oriental Ceramics, and began by selling the ceramic sanitary toilets that were popular in Europe and the US. At that time, Japan didn't have a sewerage system and outdoor squat toilets were still the norm. So the company wasn't exactly a toilet selling success right from the beginning. It was not the toilets, but making and selling tableware which supported the company. They exported western style tableware to the USA and UK, and later in Japan and other parts of Asia as well. So, how did this company transition from mostly selling ceramics to selling super fancy toilets? Well, after the Great Kanto earthquake hit Japan in 1923, a sewage system was built during the reconstruction, which did make more of a demand for sanitary wear products like toilets. After World War II, many people lost their homes and moved into temporary housing. Public bathhouses were used and cooking was done outside. So a lot of high quality housing was made to help the situation. At this point, Toto began to make metal fittings and faucets in addition to the ceramics they were already making. 
The company had many names throughout its years, but in 1969, it shortened to the Toto of today. In 1970, Toto soon became one of Japan's top ceramic makers and the tableware business came to an end. From 1973 to 1992, it was the beginning of a comfortable life with hot and cold water close at hand. And in 1980, the first washlet, which is what Toto is now known for, was created. And it had three functions, rear cleansing, a dryer, and a heated seat. The modern version of these toilets can do much more than that, but I would call this the real beginning of a toilet revolution in Japan. From 1992 till the modern day, there's more of a focus on eco-friendly and universal designed products. They have a global environmental vision and are working with organizations to do good things like beach cleanups. Okay, and then I finally got the chance to use the actual bathrooms at the museum and it was so cool. There were these individual round sinks and it was all automatic and the toilet paper had these designs on them and you're able to try the newest toilet, the Neo Rest which currently costs like $6,000 and I read is one of the most expensive toilets in the world, excluding ones that have diamonds or are made of real gold. And it even opens by itself when you walk near it. One of the philosophies of the company is creating products with new value, which you can see from the products they have made in the past that have truly revolutionized the way Japan uses the bathroom. They popularized the seated toilet, changing from wiping to washing with the washlet, and incorporated eco-friendly and universal design in its business. One of my favorite exhibits was this one. It shows the C Fiantech technology that Toto created to smooth ceramic surfaces at the nano level. It prevents waste matter, if you know what I mean, from sticking to the toilet bowl and helps it flush away. It also apparently reflects light more beautifully than a normal toilet material because of its smooth surface. This exhibit shows the difference between Toto's new technology and a regular toilet. The blue liquid represents waste matter and you can see the waste matter lingers on the other toilet even after rinsing it with water. But it cleans away so much easier with the new Toto ceramic surface. It's these kind of small improvements in toilets that make such a big difference and puts Toto a step above other toilet companies. I'm not sponsored, I was just really impressed by this museum and Toto. In the global gallery, you can see the differences between Toto products made for different parts of the world. In China, Toto supplies products to luxury hotels, international airports, and Olympic facilities, achieving the top market share in the Chinese high-end ceramic sanitary wear market. An example of a product that Toto sells in Southeast Asia is the Eco Washer Toilet Seat, which has cleansing options that work based on water pressure and don't need power. It works really well with places that have year-round warm weather, since the heated toilet functions aren't needed. In the European market, Toto was the first to bring sanitary wear products featuring cleansing and water-saving functions to the market. And in the Americas, Toto took advantage of the increased awareness of water saving caused by the Energy Policy Act in 1992 in the US and made its true entry into the US with its water saving technology. You can learn more about the toilets of the world in the library at the back of the museum's main floor. From then on, it was a showcase of different products Toto has sold throughout the years, and you can really see the variety in Toto's products like this extremely rare pale violet toilet sink that is in the VIP rooms at the prestigious Fujiya Hotel's Flower Palace.
And on the bottom floor of the museum, there's a showroom where you can see the modern products that are being sold in the Japanese market currently. Visiting this museum made me even more passionate about Tojo's brand and products. They really take toilets seriously, and not just that, but also the environment. And if you're in the Kita, Kyushu, or Fukuoka area, definitely stop by and check out the museum for yourself. If you like Toto, I also recommend following Toto USA on Instagram. They have some great stories, and it's a good way to see what they're up to now. I'm definitely not sponsored, I just love Toto. I hope that you were able to feel some of the excitement yourself by watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in more content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.